The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of Sirach. For the Lord honors the father above his children and upholds the rights of a mother over her sons. Whoever respects a father expiates sins. Whoever honors a mother is like someone amassing a fortune. Whoever respects a father will in turn be happy with children. The day he prays for help, he will be heard. Long life comes to anyone who honors a father. Whoever obeys the Lord makes a mother happy. My child, support your father in his old age. Do not grieve him during his life. Even if his mind should fail, show him sympathy. Do not despise him in your health and strength. For kindness to a father will not be forgotten, but will serve as reparation for your sins. And our response is taken from Psalm 128. How blessed are all who fear Yahweh, who walk in his ways. Your own labors will yield you a living. Happy and prosperous will you be. Your wife, a fruitful vine in the inner places of your house. Your children round your table like shoots of an olive tree. Such are the blessings that fall on those who fear Yahweh. May Yahweh bless you from Zion. May you see Jerusalem prosper all the days of your life. And our second reading is from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Colossians. As the chosen of God then, the holy people whom he loves, you are to be clothed in heartfelt compassion, in generosity and humility, gentleness and patience. Bear with one another. Forgive each other if one of you has a complaint against another. The Lord has forgiven you. Now you must do the same. Over all these clothes put on love, the perfect bond. And may the peace of Christ reign in your hearts, because it is for this that you were called together in one body. Always be thankful. Let the word of Christ in all its richness find a home with you. Teach each other and advise each other in all wisdom. With gratitude in your heart, sing psalms and hymns and inspired songs to God. And whatever you say or do, let it be in the name of the Lord Jesus, in thanksgiving to God the Father through Him. Wives, be subject to your husbands, as you should in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and do not be sharp with them. Children, be obedient to your parents always, because that is what will please the Lord. Parents, do not irritate your children, or they will lose heart. In a reading from the Holy Gospel, according to St. Luke. And when the day came for them to be purified in keeping with the law of Moses, they took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, observing what is written in the law of the Lord. Every firstborn male must be consecrated to the Lord, and also to offer and sacrifice in accordance with what is prescribed in the law of the Lord a pair of turtle doves, or two young pigeons. Now there was in Jerusalem a man named Simeon. He was an upright and devout man. He looked forward to the restoration of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death until he had set eyes on the Christ of the Lord. Prompted by the Spirit, he came to the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus, to do for him what the law required, he took him into his arms and blessed God. And he said, Now, Master, you are letting your servant go in peace as you promised. For my eyes have seen the salvation which you have made ready in the sight of the nations. A light of revelation for the Gentiles and glory for your people Israel. As the child's father and mother were wondering at the things that were being said about him, Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Look, he's destined for the fall and for the rise of many in Israel, destined to be a sign that is opposed. And a sword will pierce your soul too, so that the secret thoughts of many will be laid bare. There was a prophetess too, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was well on in years. 
Her days of girlhood over, she had been married for seven years before becoming a widow. She was now 84 years old and never left the temple, serving God night and day with fasting and prayer. She came up just at that moment and began to praise God. And she spoke of the child to all who looked forward to the deliverance of Jerusalem. When they had done everything the law of the Lord required, they went back to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. As the child grew to maturity, he was filled with wisdom, and God's favor was with him. The Gospel of the Lord.